Hey, what's up my fellow teammates? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing another redstone tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to make a simple password lock door that has infinite amounts of combinations. Now, this is on Minecraft Pocket Edition, but you guys could do this on any version of Minecraft, whether it be on PC or on console. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are in our overworld. As you can see, we have our levers right over here, which is gonna be the password input, and then the door, which is gonna open up. So we can go ahead and enter our password, which is two, four, and six. And then the door opens up and we can go ahead and walk through it. Now, this is made out of very simple redstone and pretty much anyone can build it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, I have a second one over here and this one opens up when I enter one, two, and six. And you can basically um, extend this to as many levers as you want in order to make the password more complex. Now, let's go ahead and take a look how to build this. Basically, we want to grab ourselves a block and then place down six of them in this configuration and maybe destroy this one and place it like so. And this is gonna be the areas where we're gonna place our levers. So there we go, place it down. And then what I like to do is outline the area where we're gonna have our doors. So we basically come up here and add in those blocks and then do it the same on this side and then add in our door area right over here. So there we go, now we have the area for our passcode input and then we have the area for our door. All right, so basically how this works is I take a redstone torch and place it on the back where I want my password input to be. So there we go, we're gonna place it on one, six, and then we're gonna place this on five. Now basically what happens is that we take our lever on this side and if you go ahead and click on six, it inverts the torch and if you connect this all together into one redstone, signal it should only turn off when we turn off all of the redstone so I'll basically show you guys what I mean by this and first things first we do need to grab ourselves a torch because it is getting late all right, so let's go ahead and begin placing down a redstone. You wanna have all of the torches activated when you do this, and we basically just need to connect it. So we place one block over here, one block over here, which is gonna connect it to that redstone torch and give it a signal, and then one over here and one over here, and it's that simple, guys. We just connected all of our redstone torches together. Then you wanna go ahead and grab one signal out of this and then come back on this side, and I believe our password was one, five, and six. And as you can see, it's gonna turn off every single um, bit of redstone there. And if you go ahead and turn one back on, as you can see, even with one password combination wrong, it has the redstone activated and that's exactly what we want. All right, so I'm just going over these things for those of you that are not familiar with redstone because I know some of you are definitely coming from Minecraft Pocket Edition. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and attach this to the front door. And the way we do this is basically uh, digging a too deep trench until we get to the bottom of the door and then going ahead and placing down a block right over here. So this is gonna be the bottom where our door is gonna be and we're gonna place a block on this side then grab ourselves a redstone torch, place it on the face of that and then fly up here and then place down a block on top of that uh, block right over there or on top of the torch. So basically there's like an inverted torch at the bottom and we can go ahead and now grab our redstone and attach it to this area. Now, since there's no redstone repeaters, you wanna make this uh, connection as short as possible. But basically what happens is that when the power turns off, it goes into this block and then inverts the torch and then opens up our door since this block right over here is being powered by the torch underneath it. So now we place down a door right over here and then we could go ahead and enter the password, which is I believe one, five and six. And there we go, it opens up the door and it's that simple guys. You could then go ahead and grab whatever blocks you like and fill it in since, since it's two blocks deep. There we go, and block off the doorway like that. So, there we go. And that should be our entire doorway completed. All right, guys, so that is basically it. If you enjoyed the video, please take one second to smack the like button. If you want to see more Redstone tutorials, definitely subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.